Bara ke di baby hair. May baba sa hara. <laughs> Woo, sense. Such a flame. Ah, hot. Ha. I really love my hair. My hair looks really good. I like it. I hope you like it too. I got that wave situation going on. Ha. Real hot girl shit. Hi guys, my name is Chi Chi and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today we're doing a hair tutorial. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new to my channel, welcome back. <laughs> so a few weeks back, I dyed my hair, well I bleached my hair, a golden brown color. So now I'm kind of tired of it. So today we're going to switch things up. Today we're going to dye the hair ruby red. So I went shopping yesterday and i actually picked up this dye by inecto ruby red so i really hope it's gonna turn out pretty well because i have high hopes for this color uh and the packet includes gloves which is a great thing so let me just go ahead and mix my formula and then we're gonna get started all right guys so i have here my traditional mixing bowl so um inside the box came a little mixing stick this is the color developer we have the guaranteed permanent hair color cream this is the alu and protein conditioner we have our instruction manual which i ripped by mistake guys and then we have our gloves so let me just quickly put on my gloves and then we will continue with mixing our developer and our color cream Alright guys, so I've read all the instructions and we are good to go. So let's start off by pouring the color developer into our container. And it tells the big line. If I if I guys so we are done mixing the color and the cream developer so as you can see i put on my own pair of gloves because the gloves that came in the box were really thin and while i was pouring out the contacts into my mixing bowl i already punctured a hole into one of the gloves with my nails so if you have nails just be careful that you don't poke a hole in the gloves or just double up on the gloves okay guys so my contents have started to change color all right <clears throat> so let's just quickly apply that on our hair and we'll see oh wait where's my mirror um, make sure you wear an old t-shirt i always advise people to wear old t-shirts when they're doing hair coloring hair bleaching or anything of that sort so i heard that some red colors can actually stain your clothes so this one said it's actually a permanent hair color so i hope it's not going to stain my towel or stain my pillowcases you know things like that and um some colors actually turn pink if maybe you're used to washing your hair in the shower or perhaps washing your hair every second or third day so it can actually start to fade and turn pink so i really hope this one doesn't because this one says it's a permanent hair color so like yeah
Anyway, I wanted to show you guys how to remove any hair colors from your skin to avoid staining. So I'm just going to use this. Okay, wait. Focus. Okay, focus. This rubbing alcohol. Okay, it says rubbing alcohol. So this is 91% rubbing alcohol. And then I'm also going to use a cotton bud. We just need to clean out unnecessary stains. Alright guys, so as you can see, I do have some hair color on my ear. So we're just going to remove that see how it comes out so easily you can do this while you're waiting for your color to settle in or you can do it after you wash off the color and then the stain on your skin will just come right off so guys, I'll just keep on waiting and then I'll be back when the time is up. So guys, I'm back from waiting 45 minutes and then washing my hair. So the instruction manual says you need to rinse out your hair with lukewarm water. Um, so that's what I did. And then now we're going to apply the aloe vera conditioner. So this is the aloe vera and protein conditioner that came inside the dye box. So we're just quickly going to apply that over our hair. So the instruction manual says we have to leave this in for like three to five minutes and then rinse it out. So it's always good to condition your hair after you process it, dye it, bleach it, wash it, anything you do to your hair, it's always good to condition it. And I'm really happy that the box came with a conditioner. Really dope. So guys, I've just applied all the conditioner, so I'm just going to rinse it rinse this out after five minutes and then i'm gonna take a bath and then get dressed because like i've got like dye stains on my body and like my shirt is like all dirty and stuff so i'm back we're gonna style it and then look pretty so guys i'm back i took a bath rinsed out the conditioner so i don't know what do you guys think about this color I feel like it could have been brighter um maybe it's my fault maybe because i didn't choose a really bright color and i actually thought that if since my hair was bleached it was going to be even much more brighter um maybe i could have bleached my hair again you know just to make it lighter so that the the color can come out brighter but anyway i think i'm just going to wear this for a few days and then i'm going to be done with it then i'm going to have to move on to something else anyway so I'm just quickly going to moisturize my hair with some of my argan oil. I love this stuff, guys. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. And then we're going to style the hair. Then while the style is setting, we're quickly going to do our makeup. And we should be done for the day. So, so guys, because we're going to be using some gel on the hair because I want to get waves in it. I'm just quickly going to just spray a bit more water on it. So that it's just a little bit damp. More damp than it feels right now. So now guys, for the styling, we are going to be using the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. So this is how it looks. So you can just get this at your Click store. I haven't really seen it at my Diskim store, but yeah. So we're just going to apply a generous amount. We're just going to apply a generous amount on the hair and then we're going to brush it out with our hard bristle brush so that it gives us those waves.
Okay guys, so I've applied all my gel, combed it out, and then I did a bit of baby hairs. So I'm just quickly going to wrap an old sil silk scarf on my head. Um, I actually prefer doing this overnight so that I make sure my hair is completely dry by the next morning. But because this was unplanned... And I was tired of that golden brown hair. Oh my goodness, these nails. Right? So, you're just going to make sure that you pull your silk scarf so that um, the back of your head is lying super flat. Let me just pull my ears out, guys. Ouch. <laughs> I look weird. <laughs> Hopefully it will be dry enough because I actually don't have a lot of hair. And then we'll see how it looks. If it's not uh, dry enough, I'll just quickly use a dryer over my head and then hopefully it will be dry. Okay guys, so I'm done with my makeup and my hair feels dry. So let's quickly remove my silk scarf and see how the hair looks. It's so tight. <laughs> Guys, I like this. <laughs> let me just let me just grab my mirror because like what? Yo. It looks really dope. Uh. <laughs> this is not really the best color ever, but guys, it doesn't look so bad. Like it doesn't really look so bad. Like <gasps> I got a little baby hair situation happening. I got that swirl. I wish it was more of like a fiery red color but I like it I like my makeup as well like hey mm. <laughs> but I look really good guys like I look really good I'm going to take selfies outside and then post them on Instagram you guys can follow me on Instagram so that is it for today using the Inecto Ruby Red hair color dye and styling into waves if you have any video suggestions for me please drop them down below in the comment box let me know what you think of my new hairdo like and subscribe on the video share with your friends on how to get a proper Boom, color. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.